The Dalek Emperor barely survived the inferno and fell through time in his damaged flagship. Damaged, but rebuilding slowly, the Emperor influenced the fourth great and bountiful human empire as a cover for his plans. TV. The Parting of the Ways. He used the Jagrafess and the editor as puppets in circa 199,909. TV. The Long Game. Bad Wolf. It rebuilt the Dalek race using human cells to create an army of just about half a million Daleks. It also built 200 flying sources containing more than 2,000 Daleks each. TV. Bad Wolf. The Emperor, having recreated the Dalek race, saw itself as an immortal god, and so was literally worshipped by the new Daleks. These and other religious concepts such as blasphemy were new to Dalek psychology. TV. The Parting of the Ways. The Emperor's pawn, the Controller, hated her masters and transmatted the Ninth Doctor and his allies to the game station to help defeat them. When he discovered the fleet and the new Daleks, TV, Bad Wolf, the Doctor realized that the Daleks hated their own existence since they were partially human. Additionally, they had been driven mad by hundreds of years of solitude. Jack Harkness led a small human resistance to stop the Daleks. Thanks to Roderick, the humans on floor 000 didn't help him. On floor 500 the Doctor decided to create a Delta Wave to destroy the Daleks, but didn't have enough time to refine it so that it could distinguish between humans and Daleks. The Doctor decided to turn his chance down to use the Delta Wave to kill humans and Daleks alike, even though the Daleks had just bombed Earth heavily, wiping out entire continents. The Emperor thought he was victorious, but he and his entire fleet were atomized by Rose Tyler after she had absorbed the energies of the Time Vortex and became the Bad Wolf. TV. The Parting of the Ways.